Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. I've had this unit cam from M5 Stack sitting on the bench for some time now. Then, I just received this unit cam Wi-Fi camera DIY kit. I want to see if I can make these unit cams work with this M5 Stack ESP32 Core IoT development kit. First, we have to prepare the core to program in UI flow. You need to install the Silicone Labs CP210X driver to connect the core to your PC via USB. Next, we need to run M5 Burner. I've already downloaded it to a folder on my PC. You just need to run the executable for M5 Burner. In M5 Burner, I'm going to download the UI flow image for the core. Select the correct COM port. When you click on the Burn button, you can include your Wi-Fi, SSID, and password. This allows you to program your core using the web version of UI flow over the internet and your Wi-Fi. Once the core reboots, you press the Setup button. The A and C buttons on the core let you move up or down in the Setup menu and the middle B button selects the current option. We want internet mode. Next, go down to the reboot option and press the B button. We can see the core connect to our Wi-Fi network and the little cloud icon turns green, meaning the core is connected to flow.m5stack.com. On our PC, we browse to flow.m5stack.com. We click the API key link in the lower left here. That lets us select the core and type in our API key shown on the screen of the core. Now, we can program the core from UI Flow on the web. The core has only an A Grove port. This is for connecting I2C modules to the core. When we add the unit cam in UI Flow, we see the unit cam only offers B or C port connections. I'm going with the C port using GPIO pins 16 and 17. I soldered some male DuPont jumpers onto this Grove to pin adapter. The connections from left to right are TX, RX, 5 volt, and ground. Let's connect the TX jumper to GPIO 16 on the core. This is defined as RX in our program. Connect the RX pin to GPIO 17 on the core, and this is defined as TX in our program. The 5 volt and ground jumpers plug in here. Now we have the unit cam connected to the core via port C, GPIO pins 16 and 17. Let's write a simple demo program in UI Flow. In UI Flow, under Units, we see Unit Cam, and this button C example shows the basic commands needed for connecting the unit cam to the core via Serial or, or UART. Set image show, set image size, and set mode to UART. We'll grab the loop from events and drag these three unit cam commands into the loop. Let's add a wait command from timers and set it to 100 milliseconds. In UI flow, we hit the run button and here it goes. Cool. The unit cam is sending images over UART or serial to the core. Hello from Shotoku Tech. Let's unbox this unit cam Wi Fi camera DIY kit. This is fun. Everything is attached to this parts tree. The ESP32 module is just snapped in here. This comes with two camera modules. The camera modules are taped into their housings. 
I figure we already saw how the regular 65 degree field of vision camera works in the unit cam we just tested. So let's use the 165 degree field of vision fish eye camera. This has a little padded double stick tape on the back. I remove the backing from that. The camera connector has this little black bar that you gently raise with your fingernail. Slide the camera's ribbon cable into the connector. Lower the black bar to lock the cable in. I need to put a little fold in the cable to get the pieces of the camera to fit together. I'll just use some of the parts tree to put that bend in the cable. A little more maneuvering, and there we go. The ESP32 board's Grove adapter fits into the case here as well as the camera unit. Now we can snap the back panel into place. The kit also includes this Lego adapter. This is easy to snap on, but it's difficult to remove. Okay, let's run our simple program again with the 165 degree field of vision unit cam we just assembled. Cool! I can see the miniature trees along the back wall to my right and the TV on the opposite wall to my left. The regular lens only gave us this much of a view. So this was fun. I was able to make my own Grove adapter for the unit cam so I can connect it to the M5 stack core via serial on GPIO pins 16 and 17. This gives me some ideas. Leave a comment down below if you can guess what I'm thinking. Here's a hint. Watch some of my other M5 stack videos. But before you go on to watch these videos, please click on like. Also, click on subscribe to help me keep making these videos. Thank you very much.